I mentioned that Machiavelli thinks you can only be a republic if you have the right circumstances. Um, what are those circumstances? Well, as I said, one of them is at least um, this idea, this training and tradition of civic virtue. And when I say virtue now, you know a little bit more what I mean, right? Civic virtu. Um, and you can read our founding fathers on the necessity for, you know, personal ownership over the military defense of the American ideal, something that we are is, we are sorely lacking. When people say, you know, oh, my freedoms are being stepped upon. It's like, yeah, the founders do that. And they expected you to step up. And this is virtu. It's not pretty. It's not always nice, but it's something that you have to be ready to do. This whole thing about civil disobedience in this country, right? Like if you are being told to shut your church down because of a virus with a 99 plus percent survival rate, right? It's your job to go to church and say, arrest me if you want. I mean, I was looking at footage from New York the other day with cops banging on the door of these Orthodox Jewish worshipers, right? And there's 10 people in the house and they're, you know, therefore you can't have, I mean, that's truly dystopian stuff, right? Listen to what John Adams writes in a letter um, it, this is a letter from 1783 to the Abbe de Mably, Um, And he says, there are four things that you have to have, four institutions that were essential to achieving American liberty and that are essential to maintaining it. The churches, the towns, the schools, and the militia. He goes on to talk about them. And here's what he says about the militia. He says, the militia comprehends the whole people. By the law of the land, every male inhabitant between 16 and 60 years of age is enrolled in a company and a regiment of militia, completely organized with all its officers, is obliged to keep at his own expense constantly in his house, a firelock in good order, a powder horn with a pound of powder, 12 flints, four and 20 bullets, a cartouche box, and a haversack, so that the whole country is ready to march to their defense at a short warning. The companies and regiments are obliged to assemble certain times of the year at the command of their officers for the view of their arms and ammunition to go through the military exercises. Whoa, imagine, imagine if every American city lived and worked like that.